guys welcome back to my channel today I'm doing a back to school tag um, it was started by my girls um, Jerry and Michelle Michelle from a common life and Jerry from boy boss mama I'm going to leave the links to their channels below in the description box so that you can check out their videos and their channels and make sure that you're subscribed although I'm pretty sure you probably already are and if you aren't just make sure you stop by and give them some love and hit that subscribe button so um, they asked if I could be a part of the homeschool mom back to school tag I guess did I say that right the back to school tag back to homeschool a tag <laughs> I don't know. you guys um Cameron is helping me film today I'm so happy to have him back I am much more calm when Cameron is filming because I don't have to worry about being in focus and all that other jazz so he's really great so thank you for helping me Cameron so the first question is when do you start your homeschool year and do you homeschool year round so yes I homeschool year round and this is our first year doing so so I am new to this whole thing and I'm loving it so far it takes off a lot of pressure for me and I think I'm gonna keep it rolling so we started about five or six weeks ago um, there wasn't any particular date that I wanted to start on I just wanted to um, be prepared and I was prepared so we just went ahead and started working on um, the next level so question number two do you have any back-to-school traditions so um, the answer to that would be no not really I am a tradition type of girl but sometimes I can let that get in the way for us um we used to do pictures and we used to do a back to school interview um actually one of the very first videos i posted on this channel was like a back to school interview with the kids it was a meet the kids type of video i actually may do that again maybe that was a tradition and i just missed it the last couple years so why don't i just go ahead and do that again so we basically just do pictures um we film the first day of school and then we do a meet the kids back to school type interview and i definitely missed last year so i guess i can go ahead and get started this year with that so that would be our tradition um i cannot wait to see everybody else's videos so i can see the traditions that you guys have and then maybe i can implement them into our school years as well um so yeah that's all we do we keep it pretty simple but I, i'd love to do some more what do you look forward to the most about a new school year a new start it's just it's just a stopping and a starting point and i really love that oh and i guess also um it's just this is my time to reorganize our schoolroom, rethink a few things i mean i'm rethinking all year long <laughs> really and making adjustments all year long but this is like the ultimate fresh start and um, I normally go through and just purge a lot of the things that um, we don't need anymore or that we're not using and reorganize and I really love that there is nothing better to me than a freshly organized um, house school room school spaces that whole jazz so the new year is like perfect for me the new school year is like perfect because i know that everything is going to be nice and organized another thing i think too is that it's not necessarily just for me because like i said i make adjustments um all throughout the year i don't wait until the new year um and i'm able to do that because of how flexible we are with curriculum and um not using set curriculums and just going by goals and that it allows for me to be very flexible and make those changes that i need to make so um i think that the biggest thing for the new school year is that because the whole I don't know the whole environment in general with public school um, going back and things like that it, it makes other people more aware of your new school year so um, that kind of lends itself to you to the excitement and you know the preparation of the new school year if that makes any sense so I get things that I need you know along the way but because um, everybody else is aware of it then they are letting you know about back to school deals and you know asking if you need anything new for the school year and I think it just creates an environment of like newness and excitement for the new school year anyway I hope that answered the question number four what's your favorite part of back to school planning 
Um, my favorite part about um, back to school planning, I mean, I really pretty much do things all throughout the year. Um, so I don't save any one thing for um, back to school planning. I think my favorite part, like I mentioned before, is the organization. And I make sure that everything is completely organized, which makes me just feel fresh and renewed and excited. So I think that is probably anything that I need to catch up on um, I do during this time. So that's my favorite part about back to school planning. Guys, they're over there trying to whisper while I'm filming. <laughs> okay, what number am I on, Kim? Five. Number five. Number five. Are you an early bird gets the worm or wait till the last minute shopper? Um, I get whatever I need throughout the year. So I'm really not the shopper necessarily in our family um you know yeah i'm not really the shopper in our family i mean if i want something then i look for it um i'm not a huge coupon cutter deal finder type of person i stick to certain stores um because i know that they are going to have you know really great prices like ollie's <laughs> so i normally do that i i don't like it's too much for me to try to like hunt out the best deals type of thing so yeah i don't i definitely don't wait till the last minute um i get whatever i need when i need it i guess I, hopefully that answers the question what's your favorite find or deal so far okay like i said i'm not really a deal you know i don't go to many different stores to find the best deal i'll do a little bit of price you know comparison online but it will only go but so far but i'm not really the goats from store to store type of person to get a deal if i think a price is outrageous i won't get it if i think a price is fair then i get it so i don't know hopefully that answers that question do you use a planner a book online um or make your own okay so i make my own <laughs> okay my planner situation is really excessive but it works for me um, I made my own planner because it fits exactly how I plan but I also plan online I use Evernote because it is perfect um, it makes it m much easier for me to keep my record then I also use an actual planner um, to help me keep track of mostly family events and my daily tasks and then I also have a homeschool journal which I just implemented this year and I am loving so far so what is that like four things four or five things it's excessive but it works for me <laughs> how do you make time for yourself to plan and get organized if I'm not if things are not organized in my mind or planned out to some extent that's a problem for me so making time is really not a thing because if it's not happening then homeschool is not happening <laughs> so <laughs> And um, it's taken me a while to get that together because um, while I do really, really like to plan, it was a process of learning that making too rigid or strict of plans just doesn't, it doesn't lend itself to the way we do school because I would plan things out completely and in its entirety. And then when things didn't get done, you feel a sense of... Um, you know discouragement and disappointment and so over the years i have learned how to manage that better so um i i did try to eliminate the plans altogether and that didn't really work out well for me so i think i've kind of hit my sweet spot now where i know how to plan and still leave a lot of room for flexibility and adjustments so yeah planning is my thing but I finally found a way that it works best for how we do school. What did you do last year that you won't be doing this year? I won't get too caught up on the plan. The way that I have planned out this year lends itself to me not getting too caught up in my plans. I am not going to get so strict and rigid about my plans that I don't allow for flexibility and fun. So I will not do that this year. Describe in one word your attitude about the new school year. Mm. One word. One word is hard. Of course, you know, you'd want to say excited. But I think um, beyond excited, 
I think I feel content. Um, a lot of times in, in the past years of homeschooling, I felt a level of anxiety, um, not knowing, you know, if I'm doing things right or if I'm making the right decisions and things like that. And I think that this year I feel a level of contentment that I haven't in the past. Um, I'm content with the resources we have. Of course, I'm going to I'm going to continue to add resources as we like them. But I definitely feel content as far as having the resources that I need, um, which are minimal. The resources I feel like I need are very minimal, and basically what I listed in our homeschool must-haves for us. And so those are my minimum um, resources that I feel like I need. Um, but other than that, we do have lots of other resources that we enjoy, but I'm very content with, um, what I have. I'm very content with the plans that we have made and I'm, I'm content with the progress that we're making in homeschool. And as a homeschooling family, I feel a level of contentment when it comes to starting off this new year. I think that's it. So thank you so much, Jerry from Boy Boss Mama and Michelle from A Common Life for inviting me along on this homeschool mama back to school tag. And I got I guess I have to tag three people now. So I'm going to tag. I don't uh, the, whoever I tag is probably already going to be in on it, but I'm gonna tag Candace from Homeschool on the Hill. And I'm gonna tag Shalice from Sidebuster Living. And then I'm also going to tag uh, and I'm going to tag Abby from Full-Time Wife Life. Yeah, those are my three. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video, hearing my answers. What are you What are you doing, girl? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my answers. Thank you guys so much for tagging me. And I will see you in our next video. Bye. Oh, I want to say thank you to my Cameron who helped me film this video. <laughs> I want to say thank you to my little mudkin mudkins who kind of stayed quiet while I was filming. Where's my other munchkin? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Bye.